What's up boys, this is Zach here and welcome guys to part 28 of Skyrim. Uh, last time we had right, to, um, to take the, the bow, the Aurel bow from the, um, the vampire, the vampire that uh, I, we killed. Now I think I will go and kill the, the father of this girl here, so to confront him. Let's see, let's talk with this first. We need your help, Isran. And let's see. After the kill, after I, I kill the father of this, of this girl, of Serena, I will um, go with the storyline. So let's go. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, come on then. Okay. We're looking pretty badass to be honest with you. This mask and the um, the armor is working like <laughs> I cannot say that about the the Serena. But oh, what are you doing? <laughs> come on, Serena. Oh, come on, Isran. Say something. Oh. For too long. We've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. <laughs> that face. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dark God. Kill what the do? This is it. Eyes for me. Set the prophecy is them. no more. It's time we take the fight to their door. Oh, okay. <laughs> this will be good. Rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volgahara. Okay. We are uh, good anyway, so we don't need to rest. Let's go. Let's confront him. I wonder what would happen if I would accept the gift of Harkon, right, to, to become a uh, vampire. Maybe I should kill these guys after. I don't know. Okay. What is this? Armor troll. <gasps> Such badass. Okay, we need to go. I'm... Uh, I begin. Maybe we need to... Sp Peek with this? Let's see. We're done with no. This one. We're done with this. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's go then. What can I see? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, so they're kind of awaiting us, I mean. Let's use the shot. Nice. Wait, these guys always have something good on them. Ebony or yeah, that's what I want to see. What? Stuff. So we're killing everyone from there. For Skyrim! You will die. Ha ha ha. Oh, there are so many. But at least I have these guys that help me. No, what? Please be tell me that it saved them. Anyway, we didn't lose too much. Yeah, okay, it's good. So I need to be very careful. I 
I wonder if I use the bow, but maybe I don't need to use the bow on these guys, you know, maybe I need to use it on the Hulk on there. That would be better. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, uh, magic. No. Fireball. Hey, let's use fireball, guys. <laughs> don't give a shit. <sighs> oh. Okay. That's working good. I think it's awful to kill all your, even though they are evil, all your uh, brethren, you know. It's not easy. <gasps> Amato, no, she died. Okay, there are some goodies there. I don't use them anyway. But uh, <laughs> I love this spell. It costs a lot. That's the problem with it. But um, you see the damage. Oh, uh -huh. to here. Let's come, my warriors. Serana. Come with Papa. Opa. I see you still favor keeping a pet. Let's see. I have a bad feeling. And let's sa sa conjure some of this. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I Okay. Firebot, nice. Oh, I should know. Let's get uh, actually weapons. All your bow, and I have some other uh, arrows. First one, no. I don't know. Twenty-four damage, dead arrow. Okay. other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand no more i'm done with you you will not touch him so i see this dragon has fangs your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence how alike you've become no because unlike her i'm not afraid of you not anymore and you. It appears I have you <laughs> to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. Because of what you want to do with Small her, that's why. Right. to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? No, Serena is good. <sighs> this is more like I don't. Know. Then my daughter is truly lost. She died the moment she accepted a mortal. Yeah, yeah. Life. I'm not a mortal. I'm a dragonborn. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over. You will die, b -b 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 bitch. There will not be a second. Never. Very well then. You leave me no choice. Are you Let's see. Where he Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, okay. 
No, no, this is not working, no! <laughs> it's still crit hour. No, wait. Let's continue another one, actually. Okay, and now... Two. Serena, my dear. Where the heart con? She, she's dying pretty fast. Ah, oh, I think I just wasted. <laughs> the bow, what? I think I need to. Yes, let's use it. Weapons. Yes, 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 okay. Got it. The bow again. Ah, sneaky. You can't hide from us. I'll drain the life from you. Come on, don't do that again. This won't end well for you. Yes. Your own father. Oh, look at him. Harkon Sword, uh, Sword 15, oh this is good, actually this is very good. Equivalent to feeding on him, oh no, I don't need that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't need that. This, I'll put this actually. 125. This is good, there are a lot of good things. Uh, what? I have, so I have one of these, so I, I can do up one. This doesn't space, okay. So I'll put the bet on this. I keep. And this I can uh, uh, throw. Was pretty easy though, actually, to, to kill oh, him. Done. Not hard at all. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard. Let's see, Mary. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, okay! Nice. So I keep it, I keep her. Alright, let's see what you have. Awesome. Let's give this. Let's give it to this, okay. Okay, actually guys, let's first go to the um, white run, right? Let's put, let's put, let's deposit some of the things that I don't need uh, to be able to carry some more things in case I need. To carry and afterwards I will go to the main quest to the main storyline so let's see okay guys so I um, deposit right my uh, that I my items that I don't need 
some uh, or some uh, sub edition. And now I hope that this created the storyline. Um, from what I remember, I need to capture a dragon here on on the white right on the dragon's reach. So I need to talk with this guy and um, see what he will tell me about that. Okay, I think it's upstairs. A kid! You have a sword Another there. Be careful with that. Boy, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a yes, dragon Yes, bitch. That's what I want. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best Are you can. noob? What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. Do you want me to let the dragon into the heart of my Who got, uh, who got Serena there? The She's just standing on the map and it's looking. Nice. Nice game. Like, these small details are doing the jump. All do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. Oh, I of course, okay. First. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to it. Okay, so you just need to make peace and that's difficult it. At this point. Bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Something here? To steal, then good. Okay. So, I'm going to speak with the Greybeards and convince them, right, to to hold a peace meeting. I assume that this thing back and forth, right, to to the high rotor here, and after that to the other generals like Yuris and so on. I think it will be more like. Um, talking thing you know we will not fight too much so this what we will do so i don't know if i should cut it or not like the 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 time that i'm working anyway it doesn't seem like that much because i'm just fast traveling there Aldwin? we heard the dragon run shout from here no i didn't <laughs> Oh, okay, he's buddy. Much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. But I, I don't need the Dragon's Reach, actually. I have the shout that I can... No, uh, use the dragon for myself. Like, why? <laughs> why I should do that? I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Okay. So be it. This seems more like Tell it. Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay. Sky? Now I need to speak with both of them for sure. May I convince them 
that we need to make peace to defeat the, the Arduin. Of course, I don't know if this will be so easy because I believe that these guys will um, want me to do something for them to be actually, to, 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 to actually accept the peace. But what could be better than not die <laughs> in the first place? So maybe they will listen. Like that. Some gold for a veteran? Now I don't know where. On top here. Yes. It seems like this. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Shut up. <laughs> I'm waiting. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Me? I'm not a simply a citizen. Have we? A simple citizen. Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. <laughs> hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legat Ricka? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you. Speak with Legat Ricka. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric <laughs> is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to. You do don't just need that. to do anything, I just not to attack him while I'm capturing the dragon. That's it. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Fair enough. We're driving the storm cloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Most of the legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. Mm, okay. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't Talk with the jurist too. Okay. So the, this was pretty easy. Oh, let's speak with the other guy. In the end, for sure, we will be able to kill the Arduin, right? Like, it should come to an end anyway. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the end. Okay. Where is the next boy? I never went. Oh, okay. I went here. Nice. I don't know if we had to be so far away, like with the character, uh, when I had to do these missions, you know? Uh, I think I. I uh, read the, the storyline uh, a bit way too much, you know, and maybe I'm a bit uh, far, I say behind, not far, right. oh this is a small place you are Helgen with us, come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. 
I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to me? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? To make peace? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. So I both of these guys want to be the, the best king, right? The, the, the king that looks or the king, something like that. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire can throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. Yes. I'll give Tolius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Okay, good. Okay, was well, easy. If he's not with us, he's against us. Let's go back to the um, high rotar there. And actually maybe assist to the truth. Truth to the truth. Oh, nice. Boy. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. But and how they arrived here, like, it was pretty hard. Even for me to, no to come such a way here. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season yeah, I, I think he's right about the war. So it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Oh good, okay. She's praying, oh my god, I like these things. I like them. Hello! It's your boy. Excuse that. <laughs> Thank you for everybody coming here. Oh, I'm in the top uh, of the of the table here okay you can see it now hey dear stay behind me oh oh she stayed in oh my god it's crazy nice <laughs> I have one arrow that's it now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Shut up Don't and stay down. Hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. Nobody asked you anything. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Stone. <laughs> Even that guy is there, yeah. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but yeah. I we need to, this guy to to be on our side, so. Be 
feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. Good, okay. But she is to observe, nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? Yeah, all, indeed. Oh, there is the. Uh, oh no, it's. Uh, yeah. I thought that it's a good idea. It's definitely on something. Like that. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. <laughs> the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready? Of course, everyone wants to get home, so just let's finish. General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if I use my breath here. <laughs> Who would like to open the negotiations? Your mama. Let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. Oh my god, come on. You're a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. This guy seems better right, than request. that guy. I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. How about Rifton? In exchange for Markarth. The source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik. Plus all the mead we can drink. Machtas. Hmm. Yeah, I like him more, so it's... I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Shut up, not to, don't say about uh, sides. Alfred, we've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for you, General... <laughs> don't tell me that they prefer the mission. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about I think the anything I would choose there you do do the same, you know? Because if I would say that if so, I, advise you I would give him winter hold, he would just say, oh, I will grieve. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? 
Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty thing. <laughs> Sagana is the baddest, right, that's okay. <laughs> we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down. And then Gear of Stun resumes the Yalsha. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to decide. What say you, Dragonborn? So these guys will take some territory, right, from these guys. Okay, so let's do an exchange, right? These guys will do that. Uh, okay, okay, let's go. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. Yes. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down. And Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return. As okay. Jarl. You both agree to this? You better of Skyrim will agree. Come to their agreements as long as the Imperials hold to them. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Gal. Good. We have a lot of work to do. Okay. We have Markarth. It's a heavy price for this truce. Oh, it, uh, Serena. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Uh, we need to run a shout. I'm afraid there's a dragonborn a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Oh, the dragon, right? He's a dragon. Yes, I know. <laughs> but the right hand of all the Oh the right hand responsible for many atrocities during Man, he heard me, he's not like that. The blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperor. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents him oh my shit. comfort. I anticipated the problem. I need to kill that guy? Are you serious? I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. And oh my god. I don't to want to kill that. Like he hurt me. I believe I've identified my one of the blackest of all I need to do something with this. An unguessed cross reference of this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites. I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. 
I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist in mm, okay. your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Fin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Well, that's an excellent quest book you haven't overlooked. Good. So I learned a shout there. Shout. Prepare to trap. Okay. I <laughs> don't know which is this is. Danvir. I believe. I don't know if it is that guy or the the the, um, the dragon that I killed on the soul uh, domain there, right? And uh, I can call it right now. Where to go? Technical issues. Oh, okay, to the dragon switch. Got it. Anyway, guys, I thought that I can. I need to kill the para tax or something the dragon from the top there strange oh maybe that's why maybe i need to go there kill him right and after that to yeah We will see. Maybe I don't need to hear him. I will see. Anyway. Anyway, this was this was be it. This will be it for the twenty seventh, twenty eighth actually uh, episode. Next time I will kill the dragon and maybe kill the paradox. I don't know. We will see if I need it or not. But uh, anyway, this was a nice um, video, especially with the true self peace and killing the father of this girl here. Okay, so this was it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I hope you have a good day. That's all. Awesome. Bye bye. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Oh.